Now, uh, okay, write down the equation of any line parallel to, uh, write down the equation of any line parallel to 3x uh, plus, uh, minus 4y plus 1. Now, all that you need to do is adjust the number that has no letter beside it. So when you get an equation like this, the 3x minus the 4y, that part tells you the slope. The other part tells you where you cross the axis. So pick any number that's not the number 1. You can pick 5. You can think of a, a letter, you could also use a letter K, which is uh, not 1. Anything like that is parallel to that line, okay? Write down the center and radius of the following circle. No bother. So we're going to use uh, x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0, okay? We're going to find that 2g equals minus 8, and we're going to find that 2f equals 2 this part and this part okay uh, f equals 1 and g equals minus 4 that means the center of the circle is 4 minus 1 which is minus g minus f uh, the c value is minus 8 which means the radius equals the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c so radius equals uh, minus 4 squared plus 1 squared minus minus 8, which is plus 8. So 16 plus 1 plus 8 is 25. Root 25 is... And we get radius 5, Chaddy? Yeah. Okay, radius 5. So 4 minus 1, radius 5. Okay. Excellent, okay. Find the equation of two tangents to this circle which are parallel to this. So, uh, Chaddy, instead of using 1, we're going to use the letter K because we don't know what numbers to use, okay? So if you imagine uh, if you imagine this, this is the picture we're painting, okay? Uh, this uh, this black line here, that's your that's your circle, okay? So the circle is your black black line, all right? This line here with the plus one y equals mx plus c, it has a slope of 3 quarters, alright? But for argument's sake, it goes through here, okay? You don't want that line. What you want is you want two lines that are, perpendic uh, that are parallel to it, but cross at a different place. You want two of them that are, you want them to go either down here, or you want them to go all the way up here. That means you need to adjust the, uh, the value at the end. So it means it won't have an answer of 1. It will have an answer of something else. So what we'll do is we'll just start as k. So we're going to use uh, 3x plus 4y plus k equals 0. All right? And now we're going to do the d formula. Okay. So the d formula is... Uh, AX1 plus BY1 plus C. Both of, these, both of these lines have to be a radius distance away. If they are tangents, they're a radius distance away from the centre of the circle. Do you get that? All right, I'll pause here. Uh, now, we know the radius is 5. So this is uh, A squared plus B squared. So we know the radius is 5. We know the A value is 3, and the center of the circle is x1, y1. 3 times 4, 
minus 4 times minus 1. Uh, the C value is K. And that's all over the square root of uh, A squared plus B squared, which is uh, 3 squared plus minus 4 squared. Uh, that's the number 5. It's going to equal 12 plus 4, which is 16. 16 plus K. All over the square root of what's that? 25, which is 5. All right. Now, if I'm being honest, I, could, uh, I can do 5 times 5 is 25, can't I? Now, what's the safe way of doing this? Square both sides. I'm feeling a bit tired right now. Don't want to square both sides and get a quadratic, okay? So here's what I'm going to do instead. There's two possible answers that will give me an answer of 25. What are they? 25 and? So all I need to say is 16 plus K equals 25. K equals 9. Or 16 plus K equals minus 25. And K equals uh, minus 41. So what are the two lines we're looking at now? That can either be 9 or it can be minus 41. Uh, you guys might square both sides to do that instead. Your choice. All right, any questions on that? Or how I finished it off? All right. So, uh, a circle has an equation x squared plus y squared minus 2ax minus 2by plus b squared, all right? Find the center and radius of the circle, okay? I'm going to translate this into uh, gx and gy for myself. Okay. Would everybody agree that uh, 2g equals minus 2a? Therefore, g equals minus a. Likewise, f will equal minus b. Does that make sense as well? Because minus 2b would equal 2f. And f will equal minus b. That makes the center of the circle minus g minus f, which will simply be ab. Everybody on board so far? Okay. The radius of the circle is g squared plus f squared take away c. g squared is minus a squared. f squared is minus b squared. And then finally, c equals b squared and the b squared will cancel and I'm just going to get the square root of a squared which is a so the radius equals a have I done anything question 8 so far is there anything you want me to stop and explain or just put in the letters into the formula and let the formula do the work okay done prove that the circle touches the y-axis prove that it touches the y-axis Okay, now what does that usually mean? Touches the y-axis, okay? Uh, once again, I, 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 sort of, I, I sort of need to picture this, okay? Now, for argument's sake, this circle could be anywhere, couldn't it? It could be there. That's touching the y-axis, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, would you agree that's touching the y-axis? That's touching the y-axis? That's touching the y-axis? That's touching the y-axis. I have no idea what this circle is. For, for my sake, I'm just going to pretend it's up here. The most basic example possible. Is that okay? Now, what can I say then? This is the center of the circle. What's the center of the circle? A, B. Okay? What's the radius? What's the radius? A. Okay. Now, uh, do I have to prove that f squared equals c? Is that what I'm looking to prove for this? Just give me one sec with this, lads. I'm just interested. All right, lads. All you have to do, as I said a, a quick second ago, when you when a circle touches the y-axis, all you have to prove is that f squared equals c. If it touches the x-axis, you prove that g squared equals c. If it touches both axes. You want to prove that f squared equals g squared equals c. So all I have to do is sub it in. 
What's the C value? Well, and what's the F value? And are they equal to each other? This means this is true. This means that I have successfully proven that it touches the Y axis. And I'm done. Ready to keep going? Okay. Find the equation of two circles that pass through the points 1, 2, and 2, 3, which touches the y axis. No bother. Here's what we're going to do. Now, remember, this question here has nothing to do with the one we started off with. So, in a way, I can sort of blank this all out. Okay, which I will do. Okay. Now, I'm going to use uh, x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. Do we kill with that? Okay, now here's what we're going to do next. We're going to insert x and y into the equation. So what do we get here? 1 squared plus 2 squared, 2g times 1, 2f times 2. And then plus C, is it? Equals zero. Five plus two G plus four F plus C equals zero. Two G plus four F plus C equals minus five. Is that all right? Now, do the same thing with 2, 3. Is that alright? 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 2G times 2 plus 2F times 3 plus C equals 0. 4G plus uh, 6F plus C. 4 plus 9 is 13, equals minus 13 over to your side. Right? Would everybody agree I've used all this information up now? What's the only piece of information I haven't used yet? And what's the rule for touching the y axis? g squared equals, oh sorry, not g squared, f squared equals c. Okay. Here's my game plan. Which letter is used the least? Which letter is used the least? G, isn't it? G isn't used at all. F squared and C are used in all three equations. So if I eliminate G, I'm in business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this equation here by minus two. And what happens when I multiply by minus 2? What do I get? Minus 8f minus equals 10. And then we're just going to get minus 2f minus c equals minus 3. Multiply both sides by minus. Isolate c. Now, what can I do up here now? Change C into what? Now I have a, uh, a quadratic equation, don't I? I'm about to get two F values, okay? And did it say circles or circle? Two circles. That's two F values, two C values, two G values. So I'm in business. I'm happy to see that that's happened because I know I'm going to get two f values. Okay, so I'm going to get f equals one and f equals minus three. What can I do then? Insert it in here, can't I? Three times two f, or three times minus two times one. So that's a c value of one. And that's a 6 or C value of 9. What's the only thing I have left to find now? The G values. And how do I find the G values? 
Well, I suppose all the way up here, isn't it? 2g equals minus 5 minus 4f minus c. I've got to plug it all in. So 2g equals minus 5. Uh, what's, what's minus 4 by minus 3? Plus 12. Plus 12. Use the same c value, take away 9. Uh, minus 2g equals. There's one of them. Done. Now I've got to go back and do the other one. What uh, f value am I going to use this time? Just one and one, is it? That's one. Sorry, excuse me. That's one and that's one. So that's going to be minus five, minus four, minus one, minus ten, and then g equals. Okay, have I got full marks for this question yet? Why not? I have to get the equation. I have to say, there's a fair bit of work in this, isn't there? Wasn't the nicest uh, work I've ever given you. So here we go. X squared plus Y squared. 2GX, lads. What do you recommend? Minus 2X, 2FY, minus 6Y plus C. And the other one? X squared plus Y squared, yeah? Minus 2X, yeah? Minus 2y, minus 5 equals, oh sorry, sorry, I got that mixed up, didn't I? Yep, uh, whoever said that, you're, you're correct, I'm wrong. Uh, minus 2g, which is minus 10x, minus 2fy, which is my sorry, plus 2fy, which is minus 2y, plus c. Those two answers right there. Anybody get that? Or, probably Charlie did. Go on, Charlie. <laughs> Alright, is there a part D now as well? Yeah. Oh. Find the distance between their centres. Alright, that's not so bad. What's the centre of this one? It's minus G minus F, which is? 1, 3. What's the centre of the other one? Use the distance formula and you're done. Ah, uh, look, might as well complete it. Alright. Uh, 5 minus 1 squared, and then minus 1 minus 3 squared. Uh, 4 squared plus 4 squared is root 32, otherwise known as 4 root 2. And we're done. Happy days.